the more senior you get, the more your actual title is irrelevant to something great. And ultimately, product managers are a pretty uniform bunch. And most senior people, I think, even in software engineers, need to embody PM skills. The yes, SOR engineer, the more senior they get, kind of take on more of the product type role. And because to go out and get those alignments, uh, you have to have a pretty good grounding in there. It's not that difficult then if you're seen as one of the experts in a certain field to then go get alignments for various things across the company. But for leaders, like I can almost guess that you can develop a sense for that audience, but how? It's a little easier with leaders because there's fewer of them. And generally the strategy for communicating with them is more consistent. Hello, John. Hey. Welcome back to PBS. In case you didn't watch our previous episodes, John is a senior staff data scientist at Meta, and uh, he got uh, two promotions within two years. And we talk about how he uh, did this uh, in our previous episode. But uh, today, uh, I want to go to a particular topic, which is what do high-level analytical data scientists do? Um, they basically do product manager work. Your title is still data, data scientist. Your, your title is not product manager. Yeah, I think the more senior you get, um, the more your actual title is irrelevant to something great. Um, and the more you need to take on various job functions. Um, and ultimately, product managers are a pretty uniform function that most senior people, I think, even in this, this, but, uh, software engineers need to embody PM skills. Okay. So my understanding would be like, we traditionally assign product owners to product managers, but I guess in a sense, it's not only just the title, it's the product owner. That's it. I think it's some product owner mindset and some product vision. I think it's more on the vision side probably as it is, especially so, for technical tools. I, I think uh, then we want to go to two topics. One is uh, what it is, how to do it. And two is uh, why does an analytical person need to be a product manager? What do you mean by like you as a, a senior data science do product managers? Yeah, so I work on uh, Meta's uh, A-B testing platform and it serves a really, really large parts of the company. Uh, all companies uses us for some form or another. Uh, and therefore we have lots of different product offerings and lots of different features that we will use. Uh, there's not really enough product managers to be a product owner of all the different things that we do or all the new things that we, we might want to do. Um, and there's also certain features that are either quite niche in, in scope or technical in scope that product managers may or may not have deep interest in, but still are important to, to sort of have as a, as a quote part of the platform. Um, so a lot of what I do uh, if I'm not doing traditional data science or if we're writing code, um, this kind of managing these various products, uh, at least from a product ownership perspective. What is your advantage, the personal advantage of you as DS as, as a product manager versus hiring an additional product manager? I think it varies across different types of data science and various parts of the business on experimentation platform specifically my advantage is that i've been my whole career in some form of experimentation so i have a pretty deep understanding of our users and the tools and methods and so it's much faster for me to create a narrative around why a certain product should exist or why we should do a certain thing than it would be for a product manager to create and strong man, they go ask a data scientist to help do some analysis for why various products should exist or how much we should invest in it. If you're a senior data scientist, you have a good understanding of um, how some things should work with all this fermentation in my world. It's just easier, I think. So one of your uh, advantages, you understand the product as a data scientist, which I think some of that might be unique to that point being a uh, data product. But, uh, did you develop any additional understanding from analyzing the data, the product analytics tool? 
I don't think so, actually. I think in my case, it's more my interaction with customers is quite intimate. And so I have this like, you know, more like connection with them that they're trying to do some thing that I roughly understand. Mm -hmm. So I can kind of like pull the pieces together. You understand the product, but uh, what type of uh, product manager job do you need to do? For example, do you need to schedule meetings? Do you need to write uh, product roadmaps? Do you need to hold the party meetings? So these are the things I'm bad at. Uh -huh. So from at least the way I do product as a senior DS is more on the product strategy and vision, less on the roadmap documentation and stakeholder. And although I do some stakeholder, it's more analytic stakeholder mm -hmm. um, because I may sort of respect my opinion in experimentation space. So I can actually hear from a product manager that uh, a good product manager should be pulling instead of pushing. Like they should be the leader. They should have the vision to lead to the product instead of, you know, schedule meetings, make sure everyone is delivered on time. So you are functioning as a senior PM as well. <laughs> I've, I've heard that before. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel insecure about this? Or do you feel confused about this? Because you are a data scientist and you are working as a PM. I think there's enough technical work that I get to do that I don't worry that I'm doing too much product more a lot of the product management, if you will, is, you know, thinking through some fairly complex problems about how a particular product should be designed. How should we do some methodology um, mm. that gets implemented in code? But going back, like, uh, I, I, I like, I like this uh, a lot because it says the kind of your, your irreplaceable value in this. Uh, but still, like, feel like you can have a partner, a PM partner, a manager partner to give them the vision and uh, let them push. But you choose to do it by yourself. I kind of enjoy that. Uh, this may be why DS, uh, the more senior they get, or even any role, DS or more engineer, the more senior they get, kind of take on more of a, a product type role. Because to go out and get those alignments, uh, you have to have a pretty good grounding in your uh, and it's not that it, it's not that difficult that if you're seen as the the expert or the like one of the experts in a certain field to then go get alignments for various things across the company. Oh, that influence actually comes from your uh, what your, the trust you built. Yeah, and uh, you get to use the, that influence to make things happen. Yes, I, I also hear a lot of uh, product managers feel like uh, they don't have the influence because. They are product manager, but they are not manager of the engineers who are people who need who, who do things to make it happen. So they have to influence this kind of the, the essential ingredient for a good product manager. But it's also the the ingredient of being a senior data scientist. If you're not influencing the people across the company, then it's not as way to be a Okay. Uh then what are the tricks? So suppose I understand the value, oh, and uh, I aspire to be this, that uh, there must be some things I'm not the good at. I don't, I don't know if I would call this a trick, but I think one of the hardest things is is creating the right framing and the right narrative, uh, and figuring out who the right audience is to get various demos. I think product managers are generally better at that than this. Learn from product managers who are good at this and, and embody that skill as a data scientist. So oh. you've got the knowledge, that the stats knowledge, the, the more for understanding, and then you see product managers being good at figuring out how to communicate various signals at various levels, learning from them, but taking your skills with you. I admire that skill greatly. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I feel like, how, how do I learn? Like, uh, I mean, just by seeing how he do things, I think my skill got better. Like a few things that you can point out for me that uh, I can, you know, pay more attention to and uh, seek. It's funny. Uh, I spend a lot of time doing my own work, my own studying, if you will, of various things, software engineering, computer science, data science, statistics, but I've done the least amount of personal development and product management. That's kind of, I wouldn't say come naturally, but I don't know if I have really concrete advice about how do you become a good product manager outside of just trying a lot of things. I think empathy is a big part. Like uh, you need to have a sense of what your audience is thinking, what your audience cares about. Yeah. 
Yeah. Empathy is an important part, but I feel like you have to spend time listening to your audience. Maybe for our colleagues,、uh, you can spend more time.、Uh, you can you can develop that. But for leaders, like I can almost guess that you can develop a sense for that audience. But how? Yes, in my view, it's a little easier with leaders because there's fewer of them, and generally the strategy for communicating with them is more consistent. If you if you interact with lots of engineers and data scientists who are using the tools and trying to achieve a, an objective in some tool that you've built to do experimentation, there's lots of different personas.、Um, but at the the leader level, maybe there's as many personas. But from a communicating why something should get done or why something's important, at least in my view, there's fewer personas. There's there's fewer ways to Have to articulate that. They also have reputations, right? So it's a little bit more transparent that this particular person is the one who might want to go deep, and another person is、uh, doesn't. You kind of know that going in. How did you learn that information? Well, usually if you're presenting in front of someone senior enough, like you prepare a lot、right. more than you would just you、yeah. know, with your own team. And then you get feedback from people, and someone eventually tells them, like these slides are too detailed, these slides are too not a, not detailed. No. I also have this unpopular or controversial、uh, opinion or observation that I feel like leaders are struggled by helping people understand.、Them. Leaders often express their、uh, strategies or what they think about, but、uh, often in abstract terms. Once you understood what the leader really cares about, it's actually easy to craft a story. Yeah, I think that's right. It's also like something you either know how to do or you feel like it's bullshit <laughs> and you never try harder <laughs> to learn. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I've done any proactive career development being like I just kind of do what I think feels right. I also think. In my scenario, it's a bit niche to my my domain. You probably might be surprised by.、Uh, in my own experience, I jump domains from e-commerce counterfeit to marketplace to gaming. But I feel like, yeah, at the beginning,、uh, I don't do、uh, quite well.、Uh, I had to develop a lot of understanding. But usually, after a year, I became the domain expert more than most people. In the domain, but、uh, I develop some expertise in certain domains that would surprise a lot of people, and、uh, that's when I start to build confidence in、uh, product vision. So before I end, a lot of、uh, data centers, data analytics, would be suspectable of what we are talking about because the end goal of、uh, senior data scientist is PM. Sounds like they should just go into PM. Right away, how do you view the two choices? I think they're quite distinct career paths, right? And if you want to be deep in data and you want to be doing a lot of hands-on investigation, analysis, driving decisions based on data, you should stick with the DS track for as long as you can. And the more and more senior you get, the less and less it will be expected that you sort of have individual day-to-day hands-on with the data. At which point, you're more Guiding either other data scientists to do that type of work, which is also what PM might do,、um, or you're taking on broader scope. I think they're pretty clear tracks until you get. <laughs> so it's the composition of the role. It's not really become a PM. And、right. if you choose, for example, if you chose to become a PM early in your career, you will probably have a very different career. Yes. Yeah, not end up in the same place. Yes. It's two distinct paths. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. See you next time.